people welcome back to ktfg and welcome back to one of your other vlogs Um, this is a ga vlog a gaelic football vlog not like a football vlog like the one you all know it is gaelic football a very interesting one definitely it's arma versus Kerry down at the athletic range a pretty big game allianz league division one it's a penultimate game of the year in the allianz league and um, Kerry probably the best team in the country at the moment and they have the best player in the country at the moment, David Clifford. Although he hasn't been named in the squad, um, there is still talks that he will be in the squad and he will be playing. So that will be interesting to see if he is playing or not. But they also do have a few decent more players in their team. Armagh have had a very good year, and um, much to the shock of uh, pretty much loads of people across the country. Um, not saying Armagh is bad or anything, they're obviously amazing, but Kerry are also pretty good. They're probably the favourites coming in this one, which is pretty good because Armagh are the underdogs. And we're looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I um, hope you all are looking forward to it too. And yeah, let's hope Arma gets a win. I'll probably see you all in the athletic rounds. But yeah, I'll see you then at the athletic rounds probably. Look at where our seats are. We have a good view of the pitch here. We're in pretty early. About an hour and a half now until the game actually starts. So yeah, it really does show how big in demand it is. This game. There is the stand is pretty much packing up at the moment, so yeah, um, a kick off or throw in as it's referred to as the GA um, term is going to be pretty packed because like, it's going to be a full, full out stadium. So yeah, I'll see you then a wee bit later. The current league positions, um, sorry, this might just uh, flick over a wee bit due to the wind, but yeah, as you can see, Kerry are currently top. Armagh joint second with Mayo. It's a pretty big game. There you can see the. Um, their current, um, their past results to be Dublin, beat Tyrone, um, Drew with Monaghan, lost to Mayo, beat Kildare, and now they're playing Kerry here, currently top. So yeah, you really can't see how big a game this is. And of course, next week we're away to Donegal to finish off the Alliance Division 1. So yeah, let's hope that we can get the win here and leapfrog, or at least join on points with, May with Kerry at top. The Armagh players coming off now after a wee bit of a pitch inspection the game for them so just like gone out in the pitch and now they're coming back into the tunnel for preparations for the game big big game and I think they are already the team is out and one of the biggest questions has just been answered David Clifford came out with the carry team and well and he is definitely in the squad whether he's going to be starting or he's on the bench or not we do not know at the moment most likely he'll be on the bench but I can definitely see him coming on for the second half but yeah that is absolutely not so David Clifford in Armagh who would have guessed that would happen so yeah and um, yet again, a bit more, a wee bit more news before the game starts. Here's the carry team, as you can see. Our players that came out, including Rain O'Neill. Um, I haven't really mentioned about Rain O'Neill. He is probably our most best player. What a player he is! One of the best in the country, and um, possibly in the other Clifford levels. But you know, it is hard to tell. We'll, we'll kind of tell you, I guess. So yeah, Rain O'Neill is out, and well, he'll probably be the best player on that pitch. I tell you. Here is vegetable soup. It is very nice. My first ever time actually having vegetable soup. I've been here plenty of times before and I've never got vegetable soup. It's because I'm not the, I'm never this early. Like, what was it? At least like, a maximum of 30 minutes before it starts. We're an extra hour and 30 minutes before this game starts. So I obviously did get soup. Um, the best way I can describe soup at a Gaelic football match is like, you know, the way in like, England like, they have pies at football matches? It's sort of like Ireland's little traditional food soup, vegetable soup in that too. But yeah, I've had a few sips of it, it's actually very nice. So yeah, I'm hoping that I can have it a lot more often now if I do go to the um, Armagh matches early enough. And before I do sign off here once again for now, I'll just show you how the crowd's looking. So yeah, as you can see, it's starting to fall out a wee bit more. And well, by the time the throw in is on, this stadium is going to be filled out. You can see the carry team is back out. Um, David Clifford is on the bench, I saw him wearing like, a tracksuit instead of like the proper kit. Well, you don't know, he's, he's on the bench or not. He's number 28 though, so most likely he is on the bench. I can definitely see though coming on in the second half, like I said earlier. But yeah, um, we'll see you again possibly when the Armagh team comes out for their training. Half an hour before throw in and well, let's just have a look then. They really are packing out this uh, stadium now. If I could show you the stand behind me, I would, but fortunately I can't right now. Um, it is pretty packed. I mean, it's pretty much full the stand. So that is why everybody is flocking to the standing areas. The seating area is officially packed out and well, won't take long for the standing areas to be packed out. I'll see you possibly 10 minutes before throw-in or possibly after throw-in itself. Right now, and 
on this big occasion. There's about 20 minutes left. Tippert on the bench, as you can see, we're very close to the bench. There's about two more minutes now until um, the throw in. Um, he just put on the orange bit there, um, Dave Clipper, so it's not starting. A big relief for Arma. Yeah, I'll see you then as the game. Hot forward. Here we go, anytime now. The game will begin. The game's begun. Come on, Arma. Scrap going on now, bit of an argy bargy, if you know what I mean. Um, probably the main one was a few seconds back, and basically two arm out there just goes straight into the carry player. He goes absolutely flying to the ground. Surrender, fuck this fucking carry, fuck it. Fuck Tony! 5 1 now to carry. They really turn arm out part in the first 15 minutes or so. Let's hope, though, that arm can get back into it, though. Here at the Athletic Greens, so we'll just update you there, about 10 minutes left in the half. Well, they're starting to play again here, but 7 from Kerry. Armagh's been pretty bad. Kerry have just played us off the park. I well, have got things up and going again. Let's hope Armagh can get their act together and they can make a comeback in this game. We're on the attack here now. Again, it's not looking good for our mouth. Oh, yeah. Let's see then. Will Ryan O'Neill stick it open? He usually does stick these over. This will make a 4 8 or 8 4 going into uh, half time. Well done, Ryan. It's got a ground, as you can see, I'm pretty red because the sun's been shining me for a couple of hours now. So, yeah, that's not ready. But anyway, it is 8 4 to carry at half time. Um, first of all, carry it, there's no respect whatsoever. Um, just beating up the trying to pull the arm up and trying to start scrapping and all. Um, the coach and staff. Uh, the manager and all are standing right in front of us, not sitting down, blocking the game. They've been a joke, really, but they've been a better side, to be fair. Armagh, though, have been back into it the past wee while. So, yeah, it, it sets, up a decent, um, sets up a decent second half, and just before half time, they're carried to get a black card, too. So, they'll be down to 14 men for 10 minutes in the second half. So, it's going to be interesting to see um, if Armagh can get back into it in 10 minutes. So, yeah, I'll see you all then in the second half. On the carry team this night, nine six. Oh, so first shoulder, he's been big there, and that's a joke. It was the first shoulder that so um, tackled. Go first shoulder. Uh, just the reaction from the carry bench. Oh, no. It's a joke, really. That's a joke. Very good in free kick now. He's going to stick it over. That's it, boys. Yes. Carry wants to get in their peak football. Just pass it around the middle. Four and football. Just holding out the win. Some of the big teams have done it in the past few years and they carry. I'll do it, certainly do it too. It's really annoying me now. They're still in the attack on this will probably score. But yeah, so it's Still time, a goal will get us a draw. Come on! Come on! Oh. That's full time. 
No, start clean, the one start clean. Move! Nice bag going. A tough one to take, definitely right after the game here. I'm currently in the pitch. There's a stand behind me. But, yeah, pretty bad the fate, wasn't it? Um, it was pretty close, to be honest. We made it close, and the fair play to Arma, they did put up a fight, but in the end, Kerry were the better team. Uh, Kerry, probably, uh, they were pretty dirty. You know, no respect for Arma whatsoever. A uh, disgrace, honestly, they're a disgrace. And, um, well, they're probably the better team, though. Um, Arma showed... Arma were OK, but there were too many wides. If we put half them wides over, we'd at least get a point out of that game. Maybe two points for the win. But, yeah, I'm just going to have to bounce back then. Donegal next week away. Um, I probably will do a vlog for that, so yeah, I'll see you then. See you all in my next video in KTFG.